What's up guys and welcome to another awesome episode of Natalie's Reptile Room. This is your host Natalie. I am your co-host Kevin and this is our special guest. Who is he? Rocket Bearded Dragon! Rocket the Bearded Dragon. So today we are getting back into our coolest prehistoric reptile series. Do you remember who we did last week? Uh... It was a giant... Giant crocodile? Giant crocodile, Sarcosuchus impetitor. And if they want to watch the Sarcosuchus impetitor video, they can watch it right here. No, they can't. They can. Yeah. <laughs> Today, we are getting into the awesome, but also unfortunate history of the Rodriguez giant saddleback tortoise which we drew the picture for you guys. And guys, I gave Daddy four stickers because they liked it. Because I did a good job? Oh, thank you. But Daddy did the outline and Natalie did that awesome pretty shell on them. Great job. High five. And there's <laughs> two shades of pink. Two shades of pink? Yeah. Well, it's beautiful. So his scientific name was, and I'm really gonna butcher this, Silodropus vesmeri. That's what we're going with. <laughs> Look at the baby Jupa. Baby dragon. So the Rodriguez giant saddleback tortoise has actually been around for millions of years, but they didn't go extinct until pretty recently in the early 1800s is when they officially went extinct. So are they extinct today? Yeah, yeah. And after something goes extinct, there's really no way of bringing them back, which stinks. But in the early 1800s, I mean, that was around early enough that they were actually documented. So they were still around when people were around, right? Exactly. And I'm really going to butcher this one, but they were actually in the Testrudinia Day family. If you Google it, you'll probably find it. <laughs> this family actually included the more well-known and tortoise around today, the Galapagos giant tortoise. So look at some of those pictures. He's a giant, ain't he? So he's around, right? Yes, they're still around till today. But he is pretty, isn't he? Yeah, but the next night they'll be extinct. Uh, they are endangered, so people really got to start taking care of them or the next thing we know, they'll be extinct too. And we don't want that. Yeah. Daddy, it would be crazy if we found one. The Rodriguez giant saddleback tourists actually played such a huge role in their ecosystem, which we'll get more into in habitat, that after their extinction, they had to introduce other species of giant tortoise, like the Aldabra giant tortoise, to pick up their role in the ecosystem. So, I mean, that's how big of a part they played in the island that they were on. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, it is. And look out, and look, their neck and legs too. Yeah, it's long, ain't it? Yeah, it's like... We'll get into that too. Mm -hmm. But that just goes to show how important some animals are to the ecosystem. It's a big reason we don't want a lot of animals to go extinct. Because mm -hmm. they play such a huge role in our ecosystem. Mm -hmm. We don't want every single one to go it's, extinct? Yeah, even in my like, pictures. Yeah, well at least they were around long enough that we have some pretty accurate pictures of them. Now the unfortunate part about these amazing tortoises is that unlike all the other reptiles that we've had on this series so far that just went extinct naturally, humans actually played the biggest part in the extinction of the Rodriguez giant tortoise. That's no good. Yeah, but that's pretty sad, and they are really awesome. They are. Yeah, look how big their neck is. Mm -hmm. This was due to them being harvested for food, their shells being collected, and the deterioration hey. of their food and habitat. Yeah. There's a lot of reptiles around today that are in the same boat that are close to extinction for the same exact reasons. And then once they're gone, they're gone, right? Yeah, and they're gone forever. I know. Well guys, I'm sorry, but we don't have a turtle, so we got a lizard. 
Yeah, let's see, we didn't have a giant tortoise, so we have our beardy. Yep, he's kind of like a tortoise. He's kind of like a tortoise? Mm -hmm. yeah. How they went extinct is especially sad because when they were documented and recorded, they were recorded as being very docile and gentle animals, like gentle giants. Poor things. Yeah. Alright, now let's get into their appearance. What's a few things you would say about this guy's appearance? So like, he, how does he look? So, I really like his look because his neck, we talk a lot about, I talk a lot about uh, tortoise's necks, but I like it how it's long. Yeah. And what about his shell? You see how his shell is like weird looking? Yeah. It's different looking, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. Now, although they were big, they weren't the largest tortoise species. That title belongs to the Galapagos giant tortoise. But Galapagos giant tortoises were recorded of growing up to 920 pounds. That's heavy. Could you imagine trying to pick up a tortoise that big? Yeah, probably way bigger than this baby. Way bigger than that little baby. <laughs> the Rodriguez giant tortoise only grew about four feet long and on average recorded up to weighing like 550 pounds. Mm, yeah. Which that's still a heavy tortoise. Yeah. That's still very heavy. Yeah. They were exceptionally tall with a really long neck like that you pointed out and that helped out with their diet. But look how long his neck is. Do you know what that reminds me of? What? Like one of the long necked dinosaurs. Oh, uh, yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah, when, remember it, like, so, hey, 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 it's not all about you, but it's like, <laughs> but then I could, like. You think our picture of his neck did it justice? Oh, uh, we should have did, like. Made his neck longer? Yeah. Yeah. But they also had this, like, saddle like shell, which is where they got their name, the Saddleback Taurus. It almost looks like the things that they put on the back of a horse that yeah. people ride horses. You've done horse riding lessons. Yeah. Doesn't it look like the, the thing? Yeah, that you like put on the horse and it's like <laughs> <laughs> And you that's, put your feet through the holes. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah. A tortoise's shell is actually a part of them. It's not like in the cartoons where they just live in their shell. Yeah. They are their shell. Did you know that? No. Like, they can't just slip out of their shell. Everything's all attached, including oh. the shell. Turtles and tortoises actually have nerves that go through their shells. So, I mean, turtles and tortoises, they can feel you touch their shell. They can feel pain if their shell is like hurt or damaged. They feel everything that goes on with their shell also. Oh. So it makes me really sad like if somebody accidentally runs over them on the road and their shell cracks. I mean that's that's got to hurt them really bad. Yeah, and what if they, and then what if they and then what if they die and then it bleeds? It does bleed. Like if their shell cracks, it will. Poor guys. All right, let's get into habitat. Habitat. So they are endemic to the islands of Rodriguez, where they get their name from, which is a series of beautiful islands off of the Republic of Mauritius. It has beautiful beaches, beautiful wildlife, and the Rodriguez giant tortoise was usually found like grazing through the grasslands. I mean, I would love to visit an island like that. Nice weather, beaches, that's my kind of place, right? And they are related to that place. Yeah, from it, endemic. Yeah. Means from there. Yeah. And on that note of grazing, let's finish up with? Diet. Diet. What do you think this gentle giant ate? Grass and plants. Grass and plants, yep, you're exactly right. They were herbivores, meaning they would eat like the grass and fruits on the ground, but using that extremely long neck to like pick vegetation from trees. So that neck kind of helped them get up into the tree. So they used that like to be mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Yep. Also, one other cool fact about them and something unique about them is they were usually found like grazing in herds like herds of tortoises. And they were recorded as being like very social animals. 
That's really cool, ain't it? Yeah. Like this guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, but that does it for the Rodriguez Giant Saddleback Tortoise. If you guys found this informative or just enjoyed the video, make sure to leave us a like and consider subscribing for more of our care videos, coolest prehistoric reptiles, and all of that. Uh, and just a little side note, Natalie and I are going to be going on a vacation here in about a week, so we'll reach out to you guys on our social media groups and we'll probably do one video this coming Saturday, but we're most likely going to skip the, the next Saturday. Yeah. But we'll have fun. Yeah, and guys, we might find some crabs. Oh yeah, we're gonna, we've been thinking about doing a snake adventure while we're there, but we'll see. Yeah. Alright guys, but that's it for today, and we'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday. Bye guys. Bye.